All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and we are now in the 2021 postseason uh, with Michigan State. I did manage to finish the season un, um, undefeated in Big Ten play. Still had that loss to Creighton in non-conference play. We'll look quickly at the results here that at um, to finish the season. So after our two nothing win against Michigan, played New Hampshire on the road in a non-conference match, and won four to one. Got that victory. Then we took on Penn State on the road, and I needed a golden goal to get the win there. And then came back home and beat Mercer four to zero before getting a go- a huge golden goal win against Wisconsin in the conference uh, finale. I had already won the Big Ten regular season title before that Wisconsin match, but Wisconsin was uh, it was they were still a good team, and so that was a was an intense game, and that's kind of the final standings there. Wisconsin on that loss to me did end up finishing in a tie for second, and actually ended up in third after head to head with um, Rutgers. Uh, Indiana finished fourth, Ohio State fifth. Maryland 6th, Penn State 7th, and then Michigan and Northwestern finished at the bottom in the Big Ten Tournament, which should show up on my competitions now. Yeah, um, In the first round, Michigan was able to win on penalties against Northwestern, so they will be my first round opponent for the quarterfinals of the, the Big Ten Tournament. And so I, I, I'm kind of... Um, winging this episode playing it by ear probably what i'm gonna do is i'm just i'm gonna record each match maybe edit them down and we'll just we'll watch kind of how the whole postseason goes Uh, just a quick look though at the squad sort of how they finished up statistically we um my leader in goals ended up being done well um and i've now kind of moved him to the first team over on cell I, I do like Ansel. It's kind of cool that he's getting call-ups for the national team. But Dunwell has just proved to be an all-around better player. He is older. Um, Ansel is only 19, so it's you know, he'll still have a couple years. But uh, Dunwell scored seven goals despite being spending most of the season as my second 11 striker. And even I uh, got a couple of assists. Um, Del Campo, who did, who I ended up um, st- starting at right wing in in the first team, in the first 11, uh, over Daniel Johnson. He ended up with six goals and four assists. Uh, And then Ansel slides in at five. And Antonio Moore, who only, I don't remember how many appearances, um, three appearances, two, two, he came on as a sub twice. Um, He ended up with four goals at the left wing position. So that was a pretty big get for me. He's, uh, he's been a great addition. Um, other statistics, um, I guess you could maybe <clears throat> look at some of my best um, defenders. Letty Johnson playing that number six position, uh, obviously really well. Ended up with 21 pass interceptions. We've got, um, he also um, had a 100% tackle ratio, which that's that's good. <laughs> my leading tackler was um, Booth, though, who's actually my second 11, number six. And... Johnson came in second in that category. Those players also did make a lot of mistakes, though. <clears throat> and uh, I don't like it when my defenders, the, the players on my back five, are the ones who are making mistakes. So, um, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> so that's just kind of a brief look at statistics. If you really want to dig in on all that, you can pause the video and, and look at those yourself. But um, just kind of idea what you know who the players that for me performed the best over the course of the season um and so we are going to go ahead actually i want to i want to put in booth in the in the squad here have him i don't know why he would be down there right now so i am uh i am going to go ahead and play this i'm going to start have my starting 11 for this match we are playing michigan the arch rival our in-state rival to to open big 10 play and um We'll we'll um, try to advance the semifinal. I feel like I've done well enough in the regular season to earn a bid to the NCAA tournament. But of course, you want to win your conference tournament and establish conference supremacy. So that's going to be the goal uh, for this first part of this. All right, here we go. Michigan State, Michigan, quarterfinal of the Big Ten tournament. Um, Michigan, of course, coached by Nicholas Darren, who they gave the job to over me before last season 
So I'll be honestly, they he's done so poorly there. I'll be surprised if they keep him. But I kind of hope they come in and ask me for the job. Ask me if I want the job so that I can give them the middle finger. Uh, I do feel pretty good about my chances in this match, but you know, it's a, it, a couple things. It's basically a cup match and a rivalry game, so. You never know how the AI is going to approach these things. <laughs> and here we go. <clears throat> we'll knock it around the back a little bit and we have a foul. Let's see what the Michigan formation is. Oh, and there we have it. The first goal, Antonio Moore. <laughs> what a great acquisition he is. Western Michigan lost quite the talent there on the header or the cross from Ramirez, the right back, and we are up 1 0. McIntosh with the throw. Michigan building something here, but we win it. On oh, a savage but apparently clean tackle there by the Michigan midfielder. To Martinez, to Ramirez, who lays it up for Del Campo, takes it to the byline, cross to Moore, and they save the header, but Moore puts the rebound away for his eighth goal. <laughs> that is crazy. Moore might get drafted. Moore with a save, or with a put away, and we are up 2 0 now in the first half, only 14 minutes in. If it had been on target, the keeper probably would have made the save on that anyway. <clears throat> I do have a fitness advantage in this match because Michigan did have to play that play-in game. I think two or three days prior. And Kim, the shot. And the left back is not typically going to put that away. Martinez back to Kim, to Martinez, and Del Campo with a header to finish that corner sequence. And this is turning into a rout. We are crushing the arch rivals. Nice way to start the Big Ten tournament. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled Riches. It's an interesting name. Kim with the cross. And we have Martinez with the goal from outside the area. Good 22 to 24 yards there. Meters. I guess about 20. Still, that's a good goal. All right, 4 nil. This thing is, is turning ugly. Michigan's fullbacks are still advanced, so they are... Haven't given up. I mean, why not? You know, it's a tournament match. They have to win this. There's no way they've qualified. Their only hope of, ooh, good save by Soria. And their only hope of making the NCAA tournament is to win the Big Ten tournament. Long throw into the box. Cantu with a shot from outside the area. And he gets his fourth goal of the year. And this is now a stat padding match. We are padding our stats. We're going to go into the half, looks like, with at least a 5-0 lead, unless, unless Michigan can finally put something together, but they are showing no signs of doing so. <clears throat> Ramirez with the long throw, Del Campo back to Cantu, and can't complete that. Back to the center back, Garza. <clears throat> Moore lays it out to Del Campo, who attacks the, that. Was that a penalty? It is. It is. And we might be having somebody sent off from Michigan. No, just the yellow pup. And Moore with another goal. That's his ninth goal. That's a first half hat trick. So they are quite fatigued and done well. Adds a goal. We're this is now an American football score. It's seven nothing. We have a touchdown lead on the Michigan Wolverines. All right, so that's one for the fans. All right, what a result this is going to be. 7 nothing over the rivals. Back to Booth. Booth to Johnson. Brooks' shot is blocked. Michigan going to try and get a counterattack goal. 
And Nakpatu is going to pick up a yellow card like an idiot. Carter with the throw. Gathers the tackle. Oh, on sale to Weiss who puts it away. It's 8-0. 87th minute. Probably not going to get to double digits, but we'll take an 8-0 win. Man, froze the keeper. Could not do anything with that. It was a laser beam shot. <laughs> keeper could only watch. We're just knocking around the back, trying to kill out these last 20 seconds. Johnson to Carter. Back to Carter. Jones. And there you have it. Eight to nothing. The statistics are pretty clearly one-sided. We have 35 to one shots. Michigan's shot was on target at least. But we put 21 on shots on target with eight goals. Meaning the keeper had to make 13 saves to keep this thing from being worse. 66% um, possession. 92% pass completion. Yeah, pretty dominant performance. Uh, average rating 8.04, which is pretty good considering I subbed out the whole team. All right. Very happy with the way you played. So that's it. Win over Michigan in the quarterfinal. Next, we'll move on to the semifinal. All right, so the semifinal is against Penn State. The Nittany Lions, who I actually needed extra time. I needed to get a golden goal win to beat in the regular season. And they sort of upset their way in the Big Ten tournament. Um, in the quarterfinal, all of the higher-seeded teams except me lost. Normally, that would be that would seem like a good situation for me. That means all of my the close, the teams that um, the next three teams in the league play were, are out. But the reality is that in our conference... Numbers two through seven were pretty balanced, so there's not much difference. And as I said, I I had to go to extra time against Penn State, so um, that'll be an interesting match. I'm not going to change anything tactically, at least not yet. We'll just kind of see how it goes to start the match. Um, Penn State is all blue. I'm white, green, white, <clears throat> and already we get a foul. Are you kidding me? No, he didn't pull the card. I thought he was going to pull the card. Or wins the ball. And they have a free kick. Ooh, and it's wide. Oh, Ansel wins the ball. Tax and he can't finish. It was one on the keeper and he can't put it away. So, but we do in the corner. Short corner to Weiss. The shot by Wilson. And Wilson could not put it away. Penn State shot over the bar. I might just sub in my first 11 halftime and let them try and get the win if I can't score here. And Kim with the yellow card. Oh, I guess they had a player offside. Fanny rules it out to Gallard who sends it long. This is the kind of ball that Ansel likes. And he buys the corner. Ansel very fast. And that's about all he's bringing to the table. <clears throat> Hot two. <laughs> that looked like a dive. Johnson with the free kick, and we get the goal. One nil. Big goal. That's big. Free kick goal to make it one zero. Just slid it past Washo, their keeper, near post. Penn State now. Probably going to have to be a little more aggressive. Yellow card for Penn State player Johnson. The last ditch effort. It's free kick. And Penn State clears it to safety. And a good first half. We've, um, we've been the better team. Penn State's had a chance or two here or there, but we do hold a 1-0 lead. Johnson. Hey, another free kick goal. Nope, just wide. Just wide. Johnson to Moore, who heads it. Already may having an impact, but the keeper is there to make the save. Ryan lays it back to Vanny. Good job. Good job. Vanny goes long. Campo. There it is. Ball game. Game over. Michigan State. On to the final. Deservedly so.
And that's it. That is the game. Looking at the stats again, deserved win. Even though I played my second team for most of the first hour, we dominated with 17 shots to four. I had 10 on target to their one. Uh, I had a one clear cut and four half chances. They didn't have any of either. So, deservedly, we are on our way to the Big Ten final. So, we'll see who we get in the final. So the final of the Big Ten Tournament is against Maryland. Maryland is a team that I beat in the regular season three to nothing. So I'm hopeful that we can achieve a similar result in this encounter. Maryland finished sixth in the regular season with 10 points, three wins, a draw, and a loss, or four losses. So, but again, that two to seven, those teams from second to seventh are all pretty even. So, um... By no means will Maryland be a pushover. I uh, I did I got my only kind of fitness concern was Matt Bryant. We'll look at Matt Bryant. Um, came in. Um, he 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 had an injury immediately before the tournament. So uh, while he's at ninety three percent condition, his match sharpness is not where it should be. But the reality is, I, I'm in the NCAA tournament most likely, regardless of whether or not I actually win the Big Ten tournament. So I want to. Pl- I'm going to play Matt Bryant to get him fit. If he costs me the game, so be it. I hate. I would not like that. But I want to get him fit for the big dance, the NCAA tournament, which is what really matters. So, and Maryland has enough fitness issues to where I feel like it kind of evens out. Johnson, does it count? No, rolling it out. Yeah, Bryant is way offside. <laughs> I guess his lack of fitness is affecting him mentally, which I guess is not entirely unrealistic. Hopefully, we know not to be four yards offside on a free kick, but he was. And go over to Johnson to Bryant. And Bryant loses it. I need I need Bryant to pick it up. Campbell lays it to Ramirez. Jones a shot. Low but saved by the keeper. Dominating possession for the first half hour. Just can't find that. Feels like we're Oh, there it is. Done well. A little short cross from Moore. Puts it away. I think I found my front three that's going to win me the national championship. Moore, Dunwell, and Del Campo have been lethal. If you um, study Guardiola's team, all those passes is really to, to sh- try and shift the defense from one side to the other and then go back. They circulate the ball. Oh, they're not done well with his second goal of the game, and that will hopefully sort of seal the deal, will win us the trophy. A lot of soccer, a lot of football to play. And, and I mean, Moore makes a nice little ball, but Dunwell really kind of does that on his own. Yeah, you look at that. Moore with two assists, Dunwell with two goals. And Maryland trying to get back into it before the ref blows the whistle for the halftime. And there it is. So, 2-0 lead at the break. Hmm. I'm going to go cautious just to kind of feel things out. Ugh. Brooks is hurt. So, that looks like a red injury. But that's why you bring your second team in in a game you're pretty sure you feel comfortable with because Brooks is my number two. He's my, my second uh, attacking midfielder, so would not have wanted that to happen to Can too. Talk to over to Kim. Kim is fouled from behind, and we have a free kick in a pretty dangerous area, but that is it. Ref blows the whistle. And Michigan State, 
uh, the Big Ten tournament champions. The way we did the double, we won the regular season, won the conference tournament. That is an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. So we will have a chance to win the national championship. Very exciting result. Okay, so we are the Big Ten tournament champions, Big Ten regular season champions. Now we will wait to find out who our first round opponent is in the NCAA championship tournament. Still a few conferences got to play out their tournament, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the episode, and then episode 13 will be maybe my journey through the NCAA championship, which hopefully is a long one, but uh, it is obviously a one-off, so it will be, uh, it'll be intense, so hopefully you'll be there next episode. This is Uncle Sam FM signing off.